All right, so this is a little explanation of how an HK21 uh, non-echo variant belt feed mechanism works. Okay, inside, so, okay, you've got this drum here with these feed paws or ratchet, whatever people want to call it, okay? This keeps tension on your belt. And then this pin here is driven by a cut on the bottom side of the bolt there. So this is a SCSI bolt that came out of a SCSI kit. Nonetheless, here we are, okay? So, you can see that as the bolt goes into battery, it advances that feed mechanism over. It's gonna come back. That should clack into position. Goes back, advances over like that. So as it goes into battery, it clacks over to the next position. Okay, now we're going to watch it from the top. Let's see if it's actually camming it. So it comes back, goes in. Yeah, that's not even going all the way full stroke. So if you pull this back, it's supposed to click all the way over into that position. Hmm. Well, actually, because it's not going to sit like that, it'll sit like this. Because it'll be inside the receiver. So you got a little bit of room on that side. This will actually be kind of propped up against it. But inside here is a pawl. It's shaped like this, actually like this. And as you pull, it advances over and then it clacks over. It clacks over to the next tooth. You can see this little guy here. So it just sticks. No, it went in, it comes back out. This is it going over the hump, comes back out. Okay, this was like a really scuzzy, shitty feed mech, and I've just spent an hour and a half cleaning it up. This was all caked with rust. It was a very, very terrible shape. Um, now, <clears throat> on here, in this position, there, there is a roller bearing, okay, and it fits inside two fingers on this this little uh, advancing pawl here, or this, uh, yeah, I, I can't think of the right word for it. It's a little late, but at any rate, you've got this, this shuttle that moves it back and forth. The shuttle, that's the right word. So that shuttle has two fingers on it. It grabs on the outside of the bearing, which is captive on that rivet. You can see one of the fingers right there, okay? It is pushed back into the return position by this spring. So inside of this little chingadero there, there is a, a spring that's about that long and it probably is crooked because it's been over compressed. Um, here's the skinny with this. If this is hanging up and doesn't wanna go fully into battery, chances are, or it doesn't want to fully index to the next position, what you're seeing is likely an issue with this spring being a little bit weak and or uh, this shuttle dragging on this shaft. This is a keyed shaft um, that keeps this thing oriented and then it's pinned in place here. So basically, if any of these components in here are rusty or have been fouled up, um, there's a chance that this thing isn't going to want to advance fully to the next position. Why is this important? Okay, so you look at the bolt path, it advances the pawl and brings everything into position on closing the bolt, which is fine, right? But when this thing comes back out of battery, it needs to return to this initial position. So as it's extracting and ejecting, bolts going all the way back, right? It's, it, this thing needs to return back to the starting position. And if it doesn't, what's gonna happen 
is this roller will be out of position and it's gonna cause this guy to not wanna line up properly in the feed track right there and it can jam, okay? So there's that little piece. See when it goes all the way in, right? But if it's, it, let's say, cause these kind of tend to want to hang up, you just got to make sure that it's, uh, this guy is fully functioning, moves freely, does everything you expect it to. This component moves freely um, and all this stuff is lined up nice and tight. So uh, pretty cool little design. It's fairly simple because essentially it's just a ratchet with a pawl and then that little um, shuttle that advances it from left to right, sitting on that shaft with a return spring. Uh, not a whole lot of magic to it. So uh, we will see as time goes on what these things end up looking like. Look at that FMP. And then, yeah, this fucker was so gross. The worst kit we got out of the whole lot. Um, I think it's actually got an HK bolt in there. So, at any rate, it's amazing what Park can do to clean stuff up. So, give it a blast, reparkerize it. No one will be the wiser.